Now the next thing I would like to go over is um, plateau machining and also uh, 3D profiling. So first um, I'm going to go ahead and um, bring in a file which we can give you a good use case for uh, plateau machining. Now if you have areas on a part that are in a flat and you could be using uh, a plateau machining tool path in here. So this would be available on a three axis and flats machining. And you could be selecting either a ball mill or a corner radius tool for programming areas that are flat or it could be near flat. So plateau machining can be used for areas uh, you know, that, that, that are not just flat. So if you have features and a model that are sculpted and not flat where you can't use a clear flats machining operation, you could use a plateau machining. Now, uh, for a plateau machining toolpath, a ball mill or a corner radius tool would be ideal for generating a toolpath on it. Now, uh, there's a couple of other use, good use cases for a plateau machining is in this particular case where you see that uh, the surface on this particular uh, shoe mold is not uh, flat. You can see it's a sculpted surface, so we can program a clear flat so you can use a plateau machining operation or you could be using a 3D offset pocketing. So you have a couple of different ways you could program it. And plateau machining would be a good use case here. And we've set it to machine anything that's flatter than a certain angle. So you can specify an angle limit here and specify to program these areas with a ball mill. So plateau machining is a great way to program these areas.